So this is my third update on my sewing rooms. Sewing rooms, plural. I'm going to give you a tour of two bedrooms I converted into my sewing room and half the basement. Here we go. So not much has changed in this room other than some organizing. I used a hutch and a small table to sort of just put some knickknacks, some some patterns. And I got some bins down here of an estate sale of fabric and a trip out to um, PA for some fabric. Those are my AccuQuilt die cutters. I have a wall here of bins that house most of my fabrics. I used a ladder to hang my, well I made this ladder, dowels and some wood and I use it just to put my magazines that I really enjoy. Um, here's a one closet that I used for storage, more storage of my fabric. This by the way is a shoe rack, most of you will know as well as this is a shoe rack came across this small hutch like and on here is just to store more fabric and batting and so on I have a an ironing uh, large board that I made I don't know if you can see it well. It is very large and tall and I use it when I have to iron my quilt tops. More storage up there, fabric. There's not much lighting in here. Um, let me see if I can shine some light. Basically, this is here. I haven't really moved any of this these bins out of this uh, closet. Just did some reorganizing. Um, I buy these towers at Joanne's Fabric when I have my 50 off coupon. So they're basically $30. They go for like $65. Um, and that's where I get most of my storage bins. Here is my baby lock six needle embroidery machine I have a lot of CDs that have artwork I have so many hoops as you can see I have hoops up there I have boxes of hoops I have a lot of embroidery thread boxes in there of thread then I came across these two IKEA shelving for 10 bucks each actually 15 for both my boyfriend bought it for me at a garage sale, so I use that for a lot more storage. Um, I like using glass jars. I fill them up with knickknacks that I like to create as time goes on. I also like filling them with uh, square uh, squares of fabric, like here you'll have the 3 inch. Then I'll have some uh, embroidery floor um, with thread. Well, that's not embroidery thread. It's like um, I forget what they call it. But I actually use that for um, tying things together. It's some metal studs. Um, I like using hocking jars to hold fabric. There's a two inch, the four inch. And that empty one with the little bug will be holding my five-inch squares. Um, again, here's my tower. There's actually four here, two on top of another two. And again, I buy them when I have a 50-off coupon at uh, Joann's. Um, here is my last 
stash of Precious Moments fabric. I treasure these. I do these. Uh, I use it to make fabric albums for babies. Um, it's a little stool. My cutting table. My phone line over there. So I don't have to run downstairs. Compliment of my boyfriend. Um, and just a lot of quilted uh, panels, more fabric. Here's my AccuQuilt Studio Cutter. Um, I do a lot. I have uh, some custom made um, die cuts, like the Dresden plate. Um, I had ordered a very large Dresden plate. Um, let's see if we can pull it out. Here we go, Dresden plate. Their original size that they sell is rather small, but um, I ordered one that has a pretty big um, cut out, and uh, they they do them. AccuQuilt can do any kind of custom uh, die uh, stamps for anyone. It's a little pricey, but I think it's wor well worth it. Love it. So, um, my next room is where I do most of my sewing. Um, it faces the front of the house. This used to be a bedroom, as well as the other was my daughter's bedroom. Here's another big cutting table. I actually purchased a, a kitchen table and put them on bed lifts. It was $50 for the table. Bed lifts were like 99 cents for the set of four, and I found that at a thrift, a thrift store. Um, there's my brother sewing machine. I do have a vintage Singer um, that it has been refurbished. Um, here is a shelving full of mostly baby prints and that sort of thing. I'm getting into a lot of the uh, baby quilts. Um, let's see. Up here again my jars with thread and some bobbins that I use. Um, so I'm dropping clothes. You, you guys are probably, the camera's probably moving a lot. Um, here's my ironing board. Um, here behind this door I actually put up a designer wall so I actually have to um, quilt this top that I made for a special young lady. Her name is Gianna. Um, I'll have to do that soon. She's two years old. Um, just some more fabric. Here's the other ladder that I made that I just hang my bind, uh, binding strips. And here, I love using these three tier um, display stands because I use it for, as you can tell, my fabric kits, um, jelly rolls, and anything else of that nature. Um, we will go downstairs to the basement. Oh, by the way, this is my new guest room. Just this used to what you'll see down in the basement was what, what was up here. Incredible how I was able to fit everything. So we'll just take a walk. This is my pinnacle frame with my 
baby lock, long arm. It's a quilt top that I need to be quilted. Here's a displays case that I purchased at a garage sale for like forty dollars. Definitely born to quilt. And uh, I put some of my nice fabrics in there. Some more fabric kits. Um, here are three more of the IKEA shelves that I also got at a garage sale. This one was 30. I have my Cricut Expressions. I have oh, big uh, fat quarter walls in there that I bought off of eBay. Here's another shelving that has a lot of more, a lot more fabric. <laughs> um, and I have like three rolls of batting that I'm actually trying to get rid of so I can get more fabric. Um, as you can see, fabric, fabric. This up here is actually twin and full size sheets, bed sheets, that I actually use when I do baby quilts. I use them for the backing. It's actually the least expensive way to do it and it's sturdy as well as warmth. I use flannel and on the baby quilts, flannel uh, sheets. Um, so they're nice and warm. Up the next shelving, more embroidery thread, another jar full of bunnies. Um, my magazines. I have tons of magazines. You have no idea. I mean tons. What do I have down here? Uh, well, that's just a few bins of magazines. Um, I also got this at a thrift store. Both of the, these two for 20 bucks each. Here's another uh, small hutch. I, I don't usually like yellow but this really interests me because I had the blue and the green and the yellow. It just went well. Um, here's another uh, three-tier display stand that I use to put my fabric kits. Here's another two-tier stand. Just fill it with fabric. And then of course you have my bins. And more fabric and fabric kits. I got each of these carts only cost me twenty dollars each. It was actually at a Craigslist ad. Behind here is a little messy, but um, if you can make out, this is my industrial ruffler machine that I do use from time to time. There's just some notions up there and binding. Glass jars. I have a fascination with glass jars. That's just my heating system there. I'm not interested in that window. Um, just some more arts and crafts. I have the three shelvings that I keep covered, and I have my arts and crafts and trims and baskets and more baskets and hardware for when I do my outdoor um, projects like bird houses and stuff like that. Um, and that's really it. I hope you enjoyed my fabric demonstration. And like me on YouTube. Thanks.